Hey everybody, this is a small tutorial on how to create uh, business cards. So if you go to gotprint.com, this is a remarkable website here, gotprint.com. They offer the cheapest prices around. Um, you can pick up here in Los Angeles or you can order it online and uh, they'll mail it to your place. Now business cards, you're looking at like $15, $20 for a thousand business cards. So um, if you want to get some business cards to help promote your event or promote yourself, uh, actors or martial artists or martial arts schools. Uh, this is a pretty good website. Now, um, this tutorial is just how shows you how to create the business cards using Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, that's okay. Um, you can use other um, software, uh, or you can make a very simple one using like Microsoft Word or Publisher or like that. But uh, this one is CS5 Photoshop um, CS5 here, and I've already opened up the file. So if you take a look here um, and you go to File and you import actually you create a new a new document you can see that for a business card the width should be 1260 pixels by 735 pixels and the resolution has to be 350 um, regular pictures are about 70 pixels uh, per square inch the resolution for a business card here has to be 350 pixels per square inch. Now they need you to to make the color in CMYK. That's very important, this, the, the, the color structure uh, here and 8-bit uh, is OK. Once you pick that, push OK and you'll see you'll have a, a perfect business card uh, uh, template here. Now you can make a simple one or an advanced one. I'm going to show you how to do some basic text here. If you open the text here and maybe um, Experiment. You can choose a color that maybe will fit, uh, that'll suit you. I like orange, uh, Shaolin colors like orange or yellow, so I'll pick that. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is put my website there uh, because that's the first thing I want people to see. I want them to be able to, be able to see our website and uh, visit our website and see the different services that we provide. Now once you click that, you can go ahead and click the font. Um, you can experiment here and find something that you feel comfortable with, something that um, you know gets your point across if, you, if you're uh, a martial arts school or you know a yoga studio, whatever it is, you want to pick some fonts that really, uh, that really suit you. Uh, I'm going to try some of these Asian fonts just to see what it looks like but uh, it's not really doing anything so what I will do is I'll, I'll re-click the text and uh, look for something that you know gives it a little bit of an edge not too much though maybe rounded here um, and what I could also do for effect is I can uh, make the words easier to read so capitalizing the W and capitalizing the S now from here there's some things I can do that are very interesting. I can go down to effects and uh, add a stroke here. Now that gives it kind of a, bl a black uh, overcast like that and it makes it easier for people to read your text. Um, that's just a simple way to do it here. If I play, put this down here you can see. Then backgrounds are very important. Um, you want to use a, a, a large amount of backgrounds to, to really pop out and get your, uh, your your customer's attention. So if I click here under uh, my files and I go down to uh, my graphics, uh, all my graphics here, I can pick out a nice background. Um, for instance, uh, under wallpapers here, I've already saved uh, numerous um, different wallpapers from Google and um, different uh, projects that I've been working on. So I want to find something that really suits suits it and I have this uh, beautiful background, the Garden of Zen background that I found on, on Google and it's just unbelievable background. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to file open that with Adobe Photoshop. Then I'm going to take him out and put that background right there. Now, you know, just alone if I saw this on a business card, I'd be I'd be sold. You know, it looks unbelievable. Uh, but I can you know really uh, play with it and find like uh, the right position to put everything and make sure everything kind of fits perfect and looks good. That looks good for me. So um, what I can do is then I can grab the text here and put it over. By putting it over, then the text will kind of go on top of here. Now. 
that's uh, pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good. It's got my website. Um, I can uh, do things to this, but um, the only thing I want to do is put something that really gets people's attention. So um, I have been working on a dragon, and the files um, are very good. So I'm going to go and open up the dragon and uh, work on that. So I opened up the dragon here, and this file I worked very hard to, to remove the background. As you can see, if I zoom in very closely here, you can see that there, it's been very well cut out, and I spent a lot of time to make sure that everything kind of um, looks decent, because when you're cutting through these edges, uh, you, you'll get parts of the background in it, like down in here. So I did my best, you know, um, I could have spent a little bit more time, but, but I didn't want to sacrifice that much time. So with this dragon here, what makes this great is that if I uh, go back to our original file and I pull down the red dragon, I put the red dragon right on top, you'll see that it makes makes it a little bit more vibrant and uh, it really sells the product a little bit more. And what I could do to, to change that a little bit more is I could shrink it uh, a bit down like that so it'll fit. And um, I already have one here with uh, graphics, so this one here. I've added some effects to it and um, if I turn them off you'll be able to see. The first one is an outer glow and, this, and the second one is a drop shadow. So uh, you can see that working with these with these effects down here in the, in the preset panel, the drop shadow and the outer glow are, have both been collect, uh, selected and I've kind of fixed them. And all this really is is three layers. If I close my first background layer you can see that uh, you know it, it would look good like that also without a background you know uh, and the second thing if I close my dragon you could see uh, that you know it's a pretty simple layout we have our first our Wushu Shaolin text then our dragon and then of course the last layer is the background and if you add those three elements together uh, you have a pretty good um, business card now um, to do this by scratch you know it, it's very difficult you have to think the graphic artist who did the artwork, uh, that wallpaper, uh, I don't know who it is, but uh, whoever did, whoever created this is is, a, is really a skillful artist uh, to draw these these temples and the mountain and, and the texture, and also this photograph of this um, of this dragon is pretty good. It's a very unique photograph, and it it blends well with this type of background. So other than that, we just have the simple text here, the Wushu Shaolin. And uh, compositing those three things it makes a pretty good uh, business card. So once you're done with that, you click File, Save for Web and Device. And uh, you can see that right over here, uh, you have JPEG. You can click, pick JPEG and then click Save. Uh, once you click Save, um, you can go ahead and go to dotprint.com. Um, you can create some type of project. If you click Business Cards here, for instance, you can uh, upload your your files so uh, after all of that is set um, let me just put this in here after all of that is, is set here you can see that there will be options oh sorry I gotta click uh, both sides and 100 standard okay and continue Okay, here it is. Now, once you get to this position here, you click Choose File. Um, then you simply click your file. Uh, it'll download it. And then if you, want, you, if you have a background, you can click that and pick your background. And uh, it'll upload that. Now, I've already uploaded that and paid for it, so um, I, I'm not going to do it. But uh, uh, everything's there. You just go ahead and go to gotprint.com and uh, do the shipping. And it, it should arrive in a couple days. Now. Um, if you didn't have Photoshop, you could have done this on uh, Microsoft Word. Just open a background or use one of their templates. They have plenty of business card templates. But uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'll keep creating these helpful uh, content for you guys. Okay, thank you so much.